Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Jenny and I have a website called mybritneyspearscollection.com. This is Don't Let Me Be The Last To Know, the Japanese release, and mine is a sample copy. If you've seen my previous Don't Let Me Be The Last To Know CDs, you'll notice that this one has the same picture of Britney against the blue background. The nice thing about Japanese CDs is they always have a little bit extra in them. I have previous items out of my collection that are from Japan and they're really nice and I'll leave you a link here if you've not seen them. I'll also leave you a link for the rest of the Don't Let Me Be The Last To Know series. So as you can see on the front here you've got a few stickers. Most of it is in Japanese but there is some English on here that we can understand. You see at the top it says for Japan only. The first two symbols are the symbol for Japan. Underneath it the long symbol is for Britney Spears in Japanese. The rest of it I haven't yet translated. There's two stickers at the top that says don't let me be the last to know and also for some reason stronger in pink with Sky Sports underneath. So if you do understand Japanese you can translate this for me. Please let me know what it says quick look at the back of this sleeve that goes over the CD and there's a picture of Britney. You notice that the pictures go vertically on the sleeve rather than horizontally like a normal CD. So back to the front, as you can probably tell from the back this has plastic slip cover around it which contains the stickers. And a quick close up of the stickers you have in the blue sticker, don't let me be the last to know. It looks like it also has a date on there but it also has the Japanese catalogue jive number of ZJCI30005 and you've got that big pink sticker as well. Now you'll notice across the barcode mine says it's sample and sample number 148346 sample not for sale. This happens quite a lot in Japan. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Probably along the lines of something like a promotional item that was given out to radio stations and DJs to promote this single. On the sticker on the front it has both Japanese and English of what's on here. It'll also tell you how much this costs. This costs 1,500 yen. All the stickers are contained on this plastic sleeve and it comes right off. Now before I go any further and show you the full insides of the CD, just to remind you if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel and want to see more items like this, don't forget to click the button and hit the bell and it'll give you a notification of when that next video is out. Now when you take it out of the plastic sleeve, you'll notice that it actually a cardboard sleeve that surrounds the CD case itself. The cardboard sleeve comes off straight like this and then along the side you've got the catalogue number Britney Spears with the title and the Jive record label. But you'll also notice that the booklet is vertical as well rather than a normal horizontal CD. So standing on its side you can see it has a variety of tracks on here. You've got the album version and the Hex Hector Radio mix of Don't Let Me Be The Last To Know, Rodney Jerkins remix of Oops I Did It Again, Jack D. Elliott Radio mix of Lucky, Miguel Mick's vocal edit of Stronger, or Spina's deep edit and instrumental of Oops I Did It Again. So it's more like an EP rather than a CD single. This is why I love the Japanese releases. They always go a bit further and give you a bit extra. It also says this is available on Jive Records, Oops I Did It Again, and Live and More is available on DVD. I will link them down below as well if you want to see items like that out of my collection. A quick look at the inside, you'll notice that the back of the inlay booklet is blank apart from the Jive Records catalogue number, and the CD itself is pink. When you take the CD out, the writing of Britney Spears don't let me be the last to know is underneath the CD in the back inlay and that again is vertical. The CD itself is a nice rose blush pink and it gives you the track listings and all of the normal information and stamped along the middle of the CD it says sample loaned. So whoever owned this originally I don't know if they were meant to give it back but it did end up in my collection and I'm so happy it did. Along the side of the case just before I go any further you've got all that same information in both English and Japanese. On the other side of the case, it's just a bit of hair, which is the picture of Britney, and it just wraps around the sides, which again is a nice touch. Now let's get on to the booklet. So the booklet, as I said, it should be facing horizontally, but they've done it vertically, and the inside booklet is horizontal. Now, going to the main colour booklet, this is full of pictures of Britney from the same photo shoot and photo shoots around the time. So you've got a couple of pictures here, really pretty pictures of Britney from the Don't Let Me Be The Last To Know shoot. The next set of pictures, she's in a green outfit. I remember some of these pictures were used in her official calendar. Further along the middle, you've got some younger photos of Britney from the Baby One More Time era, which was, would, would have been, at the time, two to three years previous to this. So as I said, the catalogue number is on the back here, and the black and white booklet is the Japanese translation booklet. 
Because it's a bit thicker, it gives you a bit more information. You've got an A to Z of Britney Spears. So E for baby one more time, C is for coffee, D is for her birthday, December 2nd, 1981. So she's actually, she's just over a month older than me. That's a little bit of information about me, you may not have known that she was born in December 81 and I was born in January 82. So you've got things like The Horse Whisperer, which at the time I believe was her favourite either movie or film, K for Kentwood, S for shopping, T for Titanic, she loves My Heart Will Go On. Now, you dip at university, but they've actually spelt it with a C for city. Zodiac sign, so it's a bit sort of tenuous, but it's still nice to have. So you've got the Don't Let Me Be The Last To Know lyrics in English, and then on the opposite side, you've got them all in Japanese, apart from a few words that can't be translated. If you go over to the next side, it gives you just the normal production information, and it tells you that her second album is available for sale with that Japanese catalogue number, and how her first album is also on sale. That is a Japanese cover if you've not seen it and again I will link you the playlist down below if you want to see that. Now on the back it just again gives you the track listings with the Japanese translations. So in, all in all it's really useful for both English and Japanese speakers. So there you go that's the Britney Spears Japanese Don't Let Me Be The Last To Know CD. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're still here with me at the end, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Interacting like that with my channel really does help me out and I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much if you have subscribed and if you haven't and you want to see more like this, don't forget to tap that bell and it'll give you a notification. If you'd like to see me over on Instagram, I'm at Britney Spears Collector and as always my website is called mybritneyspearscollection.com. So until I see you on the next video, take care. Bye guys.